This time on our visit to the Gail Borden Public Library, we'll hear about Rain Barrels on Parade, the ongoing contest good for the environment. But first, some library summertime entertainment events. Hi, I'm Katie Robnett. I'm with Youth Services at Gail Borden Public Library, and I'm here to tell you about a fantastic program we call, have called The Land Knows You're There. We have the folk singer Adam Miller going to be here at 7 p.m., and he is a fantastic folk singer who's good for the parents, the kids, the grandparents to come and see him sing. He's also a storyteller and great with the auto harp. Adam Miller will be here on July 7th. On Monday, July 13th, we have a singer keyboardist, Rick Kelly, coming in, and he's really great with sing-alongs and dance-alongs and line dances and percussion, and it would be so much fun if you could come to see him at our family picnic this summer on July 13th. We also have the Flying Fool on August 10th, and he comes in and he does bowling ball juggling and fire eating, stilt walking, and so much more. And when you come to these picnics, you can bring food for yourself, and the library provides drinks and desserts for you as well. Hi, I'm Siggy Semenos, and I just put the last barrel in place here at the beautiful Gail Borden Library. A little bit more about the contest you already saw us last month. You know that there are 46 barrels scattered throughout the city. You need to stop by the library, pick up one of these passports, and inside the passport you're going to find the location for all 46 locations. You start visiting one, you write down the artist names, and I'm going to give you just a little help with the first one here. This is barrel number 12, and this is painted by Mary Amici Cozy for the library. So on line 12 in this little pamphlet, you write her name, and now you just need to go visit another nine sites. When you're done with this, you just tear off this little section here, Put your name on it, your email, your phone number, and drop it off in the barrel that's marked at the library. Remember, there are 46 civic, not-for-profit, and church organizations throughout the city. This first one that I want to just tell you a little bit about, it has beautiful flocks of geese on it. This is from Dodi Karigny from the Unitarian Church, and I'm just going to read what she said because, again, it synthesizes what this project is about. What should I paint on the barrel? After much planning and agonizing over what kind of design to use, I finally set up some paints, brushes, and sponges in the open garage in my suburban townhome. While the painting itself became very satisfying, I noticed my barrel was appealing to the neighborhood as well. A 12-year-old boy brought his 3-year-old brother over to see what it was all about. I educated them about the importance of conserving water and what the word sustainability means. An hour later, a retired couple came over with their young grandchildren, and I repeated the explanation. Before the day was over, 10 more adults and 3 more children got the story. Many had never heard of the existence of rain barrels except in old time movies. Most said they would look for the barrels around town and maybe bid on one of them during the auction. The connection to my neighbors reminded me of growing up in Chicago when we all sat on our porches and chatted with everyone who walked by. Instead of politely waving from the car, we got out to talk to people face to face every day. I think the rain barrel project is making a difference both socially and environmentally in our community and I'm so grateful to be a part of it. This is the feeling that I've gotten from almost everybody, who, whether they've painted it or it's the organization sponsoring it or putting it into a location. Siggy also showed Elgin today many other wonderfully created rain barrels by Elgin folks and groups and had this final thought for us. Rain Barrels on Parade is highlighting neighborhood projects, community not-for-profits, local artists, and most of all, conserving water. All here at the Gail Borden Public Library.